Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get on your feet once again as we continue here with the quarterfinals of the European Darts Grand Prix. Let's welcome to the stage a Gibraltar Darts Trophy finalist, PDC World Championship semi finalist, Fireball Jamie Lewis! We now introduce a former finalist here in Sindelfingen. A winner of four Euro Tour titles, the former PDC World Youth Champion, Bully Boy, Michael For the right to play Michael Van Gerwen in the first semi-final later on is the number four seed Michael Smith next up against one of the UK qualifiers, Jamie Lewis. Jamie beating Paul Nicholson this afternoon in a real ding-dong 6-5. Taking out the number five seed Daryl Gurney 6-4 yesterday and beating German qualifier Christian Bunzer. Michael Smith's route to the quarter-final saw him see off Jermaine Watamina of the Netherlands 6-3 today and take out uh, Aaron Monk, 6-5, yesterday. And Smith not feeling at his best. Said he was going to go back to the hotel and take some more antibiotics for a, well, a bad chest that seems to have caused him to have rib problems because he's been coughing so much. And joining myself... Mike Lawrence for this one in the commentary box is Chris Murphy. Evening, Chris. Evening, Mike. Yes, uh, interesting little pairing this because they've had plenty of meetings in the past. They were of the same generation. Michael Smith, obviously the more successful of the duo. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at Jamie to throw first. Game on. But they did meet at a Players' Championship event last month and Jamie Lewis earned a 6-2 success over the Bully Boy. And that is why Michael Smith has been in a hot streak of form. 45. The head-to-head -head is closer than you might think. 7-5 in Smith's favour. So Lewis won't be rolling over. With Michael Nine. Smith hampered by that injury, yeah, it, it may be the case that it gets more difficult the longer he's in the tournament. Yes, four games in one day for those players. 85. The two players who make it right the way through to the final on a European Tour Sunday. We have seen some sensational what stuff so far here on this Sunday session in Sindelfingen. But this pair have been, if you put it alongside everything else we've, else we've seen, perhaps lukewarm. 140. Yeah, the standard has been so high today. Yeah, nothing like what we've seen from Van Gerwen and Chisnell from these two yet. But win the match and you're in the same round. I'm taking on Michael Van Gerwen, looking to be the first man to win on this stage twice. 100. Win the I tournament twice. 32. One, three, two, the target for Michael Smith to get an early break. 1-3-1 one, one, then for Lewis to try to open up his account. So Smith Ben 
Does he go straight for double 19? Looks like he's looking at it. Well, he might split it now. Well, it looked completely blocked up. I thought that he might opt to play safe with a second dart and make sure he had a clear bed to aim at. Jamie Lewis does decide to split. 18. But he can't hit either, so Michael the bully boy gets another chance to break the throw in leg one. And, and this time he takes it. Michael. First right at the start in. of the game. We saw Michael reach that epic final in Saarbrücken, beaten by German hero Max Hopp, 8-7. That really was a fantastic final. And then reaching the quarter-final in Austria, in Graz, last time out, beaten by Joe Cullen. Six. And it's the first time we've seen Jamie in European Tour action this year. He did reach a final in Gibraltar back in 2013. Bill Taylor. And it's the Gibraltar Darts Trophy that is the European Tour honour that Michael Smith lifted in 2017. Lift off here for Lewis on the 180 count. It's the first time actually we've seen him on stage at all since his incredible run to the semi-finals of the World Championship. Did play in the UK Open finals but didn't make it to a stage game. Slightly different format to most TV events in Minehead. 131. Mike Lirigwan, 81. Smith to double his lead. Shot on the second leg, Michael Smith. Then Jamie to throw first. Smith looking good at the moment. Doesn't appear to be suffering any any pain, but as you say, a long way to go and a, a, a long night. 96. If he does progress to take on MVG in the first semi-final. Dutch qualifier Danny Noppert taking on the number seven seed Joe Cullen next. Then Simon Whitlock against James Wade. That should be another goodie. That will make up our second semi-final pairing later. The winners of those two matches. 100. Yeah, Whitlock, another player who's been in the wars. So you see only a couple and a half legs into this, but 100. Michael Smith so far has upped his game. And whoever does win, if Michael Van Gerwen is in the same kind of mood as he was 15 minutes ago, we'll have to up it even more. Let's try and claim the scalp for the world number one. 134. Of course, there's that little race going on for the World Cup places too between some of the players left in this tournament. Michael Smith has just seen Dave Chisnell knocked out, who's a rival for the World Cup spot for England. 28. James Wade 2 in action later on. That'll be held here in Germany too, of course. One of the tournaments that really brought PDT darts to this country. And how it's grown from there has been quite remarkable. Jamie Lewis could, if he were to go all the way and do a ferret, 41. Could make the Welsh team. Yeah. In place of Johnny Clayton. But right now he's got it all to do against Michael Smith. Because the Bully Boys race into a 3 0 lead and has the darts to turn that into four. Not the best of starts from Michael Smith to this leg, though. 100. And a ton in response from Jamie Lewis. Well, Lewis has not really got going at all. Michael Smith averaging 100. around 20 points more than his opponent. As you mentioned, it is kind of uncharted territory for Jamie Lewis this year. 97. Michael Smith, one of the most successful players 50. on the European Tour. And 
added a fourth title last year. He felt that he should have added another one in Saarbrücken. 58. One hundred and eight. Coming up the bed for his first maximum of the match. Gets him down to 108 and responding with his own maximum, Jamie Lewis. Has that given him a chance here? Will it give him a chance? It will. And this, you feel, has to go 66 to break here. Different game completely. Finds the 42. Looking for the 24. Ooh. Finds the 18, and that's not what Thank was you, required. And Michael Smith will get a couple of darts. Oh, well. What have been expecting to come back and didn't make the most of? We saw Lewis split on 34, hitting the two, but he's gone straight for the double three. Well, it should be out of the way, that one. Four. See there on the camera angle. He did have a clear one, bed to ten. air, Max. But he will yeah, probably feel that that chance Michael. was the opportunity to get over. back into this match. And Michael Smith is having it all too easy in a European Tour quarter-final. £4,000 for the losing quarter-finalists on the European Tour. Six thousand pounds for the semi-finalists, and then the runner-up getting ten thousand pounds. The winner picking up the European Darts Grand Prix trophy and twenty-five thousand pounds in prize money. And this will be just what the doctor ordered for Michael Smith too, because he'll want to get this game over and done with as quick as possible, and then rest up 58. before his semi-final against MVG. So let's see if he can show a bit of a a ruthless streak here. 42. And dispatch of Jamie Lewis in double quick time. And Jamie really has been unable to repeat some of the form 45. he's shown so far this weekend, particularly in knocking out Daryl Gurney. 96. In the second round yesterday. But it was pushed all the way by Paul Nicholson this afternoon before coming through 6 5. Lewis on a bogey Maybe number. Yeah, Michael Smith not, but Lewis in a strong position despite that to get his first leg on the board. Certainly stronger now. 133. Like well, this is the biggest we've seen. Darren Webster had this check out against Michael Van Gerwen. Smith not going to take it out. So Lewis wants double 16 to finally get a one next to his name. There it is. So he'll avoid the ignominy of a whitewash, and who knows, may start to claw his way back into this game. We have seen players come from. Similar deficits this weekend. But just 41. really struggling to find the treble 20 bed with too much regularity at the moment. 60. Smith's standard has declined as the game's gone on. So if Lewis can raise it just a little, he might yet make this match competitive. 81. As I said, he's beaten Michael Smith five times. He's met across 89. every kind of tournament. Development tour, TV major. Lewis getting a win against the Bully Boy at the World Grand Prix back in 2015. 
44. And the most recent time as well. Just hasn't really shown any signs of 95. something sparking yet, has he? No, in this leg, neither player has really pulled up any trees in this uh, leg. 46. Again, Jamie Lewis going around the houses, trying to find a big treble and failing to do so. But here we go. Michael starting to turn the screw. Then we'll come back for a 5-1 lead. If he can take out the 62. Jamie just retrieving his dart and composing himself and doing the right thing by doing that, but the third dart just fly up. Then it's costly because if Michael Smith doesn't go out, Lewis won't even have a chance 42. to take this leg in this visit. Yeah, that was... Disappointing to hit that single one, to say the least, because Smith with three darts in hand for double ten. 37. Which will put him one 20. leg away from victory. And he's on the sixth leg, Michael Smith. Well, it's his favourite double. Seventh leg is Jamie to throw first. Game on. And he's a huge favourite to reach the semi-finals here. Michael Van Gerwen waiting in the wings. And he could be up against the bully boy who has had some great games against the Rolls of the Warn on the European Tour. But he's nowhere near his best. Hasn't been 96. in this tournament. More than enough to have a handsome advantage over Jamie Lewis, though. Hasn't got going at all. You must feel 45. for someone like Dave Chisholm, who's just played a, a match like he has, and he's wanders into the practice room and sees Michael 96. Smith averaging 92 and change and absolutely breezing through seemingly to the semi-finals. Yes, and, and Michael, well, I'm sure Michael will be well aware when Dan speaks to him after the game that he will need to raise his game considerably against MVG if MVG repeats the form he showed against Chizzy at the start of this evening session. Oh, yeah, Dan made the point before that we've got Michael Smith and Simon Whitlock nursing injuries in between matches here. Are you a, a subscriber to this Beware the Injured Sportsman nonsense, Mike? <laughs> I think I've just given my opinion on it, but let's have yours. Seventeen. Well, it could be out with a point to prove, play through the pain barrier, the adrenaline, once the adrenaline pumps. Well, that last visit from Michael stops. Smith was, was just painful. Yeah. 125. So again, a choice for Jamie Lewis. Whether to go straight for it or split, he was successful. Earlier on, now he's having to move across. Can he see enough Six. of that? Well, he got close, Mike but not Gerwin close enough. And this game has not been close enough for Jamie Lewis. Can still be done. 57. Well, he went for Jamie the Gerwin, smallest target there. He could have gone for a treble 18 to leave himself the double. Wrong bed. Oh. Yeah, on the seventh leg. Well, well exhibition stuff got there in the end. I think it's Michael to throw first. Came on. To keep it going, but Michael throwing here at the start of the eighth leg. And as you say, we're keen to get the job done as quickly as possible to rest up before his semi final if he does. Nice five. Make it over the line. It's just a shame that Jamie Lewis hasn't been able to up his game a little bit because this could be much, much more competitive considering that Michael Smith is down in the low 90s now. Fifty-eight.
There, a raise of the eyebrows from Michael Smith. He's back. The stuff he was producing for the first couple of legs. Yeah, as if to say, well, why haven't I been able to do that for the last uh, few legs? But Six. I gave him 121. One, two, one. Needn't go. So he just leaves himself tops. And when he returns, we'll have the chance to finally put an end to this. 97. Mike Livigoire, 40. And Jamie's still not down to a finish, so he does have time if he needs it. But he'll look to take out double top here, Michael Smith. No Can't score. do it this time. And a big shot here would put pressure on Smith. Just like that. 139. Is that Michael enough to 40. knock him out of his stride? No, is the answer. The Michael, Michael Smith, Smith does move through. It wasn't a classic. It wasn't up there with the kind of stuff we've seen here at the European Darts Grand Prix, but it was more than enough for Michael Smith, who will take on Michael Van Gerwen in the semi-finals this evening. Up next, we've got another Dutchman, Danny Noppert, facing Joe Cullen, and Simon Whitlock will take on James Wade as the quarterfinals are completed here in Sindelfingen. But for now, let's hear from the bully boy, Michael Smith, talking to Dan. Michael, you're raising your eyebrows there. It wasn't your best, but you still find a way to win games despite how ropey you're feeling. Yeah, that was, that was rubbish. That, and I was waiting for Jamie to kick in. I started off quite well, and then it just went downhill from there. started feeling it. Felt a bit weak with my throat. Started off throwing really hard. Didn't like the pain, so I had to start lobbing again, but I fell over the line. We've seen you in little patches produce some good stuff this weekend, though. It's going to have to be non-stop good stuff in an extended format semi-final against the world number one. Yeah, I know I'm going to get from Michael, so I know how I'm going to play. I know I'm going to come up and give me best that I can possibly give against Michael, and we're going to see what happens. Congratulations. Safely through to the semi-finals. The bully boy will take on mighty Michael Van Gerwen in the first semi-final. Look at the other half of the draw now, starting with Noppy, Danny Noppert, against the rock star Joe Cullen. 